Dine Kaddish. Sif Aleph. Simenon Hay. Page Kuf Tzadik Dalit. Bruchem Abayim. We, we, we thought he decided to move to Eretz Yisrael. <laughs> I wish I could do it. It's nothing like Israel. I don't know what we're doing here. They said you got lost somewhere there. I don't know what we're doing here. <laughs> I'm making coffee for you. The din is that we say Kaddish in every place where there is a separation in the Seder of the Davening. There are no less than seven Kaddishim each day based on the Pasuk in Tehillim Sheva b'yim I praise you seven times a day. Tavon Melach says. Ve'eluheim. These are the seven parts which are chiyuv. Say kaddish. Aleph. Acher psukim zimra. Shishamu hefsik say the psukim after psukim zimra. Before we say baruchu, we say a kaddish. Beis acher siim tefilos yitches. She mitzvah for the hatsa and idvukal mashalachra. After you finish shemun essay, which is also a mitzvah for itself is not connected to what we say afterwards. So in every area where there's a hefsik in the Seder of the Tefillah, a new part, we say a Kaddish. Gimel, Acher Seder Kedushas, Oval Etzin, Shukam, Kin Davar Kedusha. After we say, Shakoyach, after we say the Kedusha, in Oval Etzin, in Oval Etzin, we say Kedusha, Kaddish, Baruch, Gimleich. After we say Oval Etzin, we say a Kaddish. Dale, the fourth one, Acher Ashre the Mincha. She mits of Neatzma, Shakoloim, or Kildavo Choyim, Gimel Pamuf, the Shaban El Mahaba. The concept of saying Ashre is an important virtue for itself because we know Chazal tell us anyone who says Ashre three times a day is promised to be a Ben Oil Mahaba. So after we say Ashre by Mincha, we say a Kaddish. Hey, after seeing through the Cheshel Mincha, she mitzvah for Neatza. After Shmoneser Mincha, which is a mitzvah for itself. Vav after Birchis Shabrachis Shakriyas Shemshal Arvis. Tam she is Barvis Simelei Shamavav. After the Brachis a Kriyas of Myriv, meaning after Hashkivenu, for Shmoneser. Ach Zayin after Tfilos Arvis Shakar Nishma Tfilah. The Tfilah is over. By the way, um, we. Our minig is we also have another one. We say one before Baruch Hu. But the minig Ashkenaz is not to say the Kaddish before Baruch Hu. They go straight to Rachum, they go straight into Baruch Hu. Without a Kaddish. The Mardim said before Alem. What about before Baruch Hu? May you say Kaddish? I think so, yeah. yeah. Ashkenaz don't say. Zayin Elohim Choyva. I remember growing up, we said the Hu Rachum, and we went right into Baruch. Exactly. So they don't say. Now I'm not sure because now I'm davening Nusachari most of the time when I'm davening Marit. So I don't remember as much anymore. Yeah, but the Shulchan Aruch and the Alter Rebbe was written like Minig Ashkenaz. Written like Minig Ashkenaz. Zayin Eluhin Choyva. They don't go like the Ariza? Chabad goes like the Arizal, but when the Alter Rebbe wrote his Shulchan Aruch, yeah. he wrote it as, as to be a universal Shulchan Aruch, not to be meant specifically for Hasidim. Uh-huh. As universal, after we had after the Shulchan Aruch was published, there became many more um, explana- commentary on the Shulchan Aruch. And the Alter Rebbe wanted to pull it all together and make a new version of Shulchan Aruch, which is easy to read, and you don't have to look into the Magen Avram, into the Taz, into the other Achreina. He didn't follow Dafke specifically things that the, the Hasidim were noyik. In, in his Siddur, in his Siddur, in his Siddur, he also published instructions and halachas and menhagim, and those things he went lafi with Hasidim like Harizal, and in the Shulchan Aruch he didn't. Shulchan Aruch, he kept the way the Ramah followed Paskin. The Ariza was about 300 years before the... 
voor de grote ja? uitstaan, hè? Ja. Nou, zayin elohin choyva. These seven kadeshim are an obligation. Kishim espalim betzibur. Vashar minig and the other kadeshim which are said are a minig. Veray v'chal adam lizar she livchays milani siut kadeshim b'choyim. It's appropriate for a person to be careful not to say less than ten kadeshim a day. To answer. To answer. Wow. I think it says based on other svarim, it says it uh, for an oval should say at least 16 Kadesh every day, if I'm not mistaken. An oval should say Kadesh even though it's that many that he's doubting. If he, come, he comes to an earlier minion that he's going to doubt with Amin, he should say Kadesh. If he's not doubting, he doesn't need to say Kadesh. 17, I think we said. 17? Because you have 10 here. Here we just said seven. We said a list of seven. We said it's a roy for someone to say at least ten. Ten Kadeshim, right? So I'm saying you have Kadesh Yasan. Kadesh Yasan after all three Tvilas, that's ten. No, it's ten plus the, the three Kadesh Yasan. It's thirteen. And we say a mission. No, what are the ten? What, 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 which ones are the ten? It doesn't say Kadesh Yasan for the one of the ten. Nothing is no, he only lists out the seven. He gives a list of all seven. Then he says, "Zayin Elohim Chayva." Roy l'chol Adam Mizorah shall live chis malanis yimuk kadesh. He doesn't specify what are the ten. So he has a list of seven. But let's oh, say you seven. add on the three kadesh yasims every day. Right, and then you say and three kadesh derabanan. So you have another six. So right there, you already have thirteen. Right, and mm-hmm. then you have after the, after every davening, you say Tehillim, you say Mishnah. Well, okay, but that's that you're including. Because, oh, because you say another Kaddish Yasin. Right. And three times. So another one. So you say 14. Plus three. Shmal Oymer, after Shmal Oymer, 15. After, and then they have a Kaddish uh, by Baruch Hu, So that's 16. The Kaddish by Meir. But Sparadim, if you say 5, 6, Mishnayot, you say 5, 6, Kaddish? Even one Alakha. Even one Alakha, yeah. Because you can say 20, 25. Exactly. You know, yeah, but that I said that you shouldn't say not less than. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nobody has a chiv to say So what? At least he answered the seven. Call Davar in Kaddish or Baruch and Oimer Pachas Ein Oimer Anything of Davar Shabakdosha, anything which is considered has a status of being called a Davar Shabakdosha, which is Kaddish, Baruch and Kedusha, you do not say with less than ten people in the room. Shenem Rebinikdash Ti Besayi Bnei Yisrael. I will be made ho- I should be made holy amongst Bnei Yisrael. How much is considered ben- amongst Bnei Yisrael? Lahala Nemer says by the Maraglim, he bodlo mitoycha eda. You should separate yourself from amongst mitoycha eda the congregation. Well, the maiden Zayashava we learn Zayashava from the word toycha over here to the word bitoych by Menedash to besoych. Toych toych ma toych am lahal be eda av toych am rakan eda. Just like by the Meraglim, it says, Eda is not ten. That means he bought Eda. It's by the Meraglim or by Koyrech? Mm. Uh, maybe by Koyrech. But it says the word Eda, so we learn out you need to have an Eda, congregation. What is a congregation? Ma toicha omer lahalon eda af toicha merkani. The vein eda pchus measar. How do we know a congregation is not less than ten? Shenemer by the meraglim ad masai le eda hara chazais. How long will I? How long will we have to deal with this? Over there also is the eda. Eda. Now, over there, how much? What? How? How much is an eda by the meraglim? There was twelve, but you should have a kolev. Same mehem you should have a kolev. You should have asara. So you have asara. So the Torah refers. Gives the status of an Ada to ten. The has to be for males, free ones, not avodim, and adults. Shehiviu bei sidus, which I brought two hairs down by the bris. 
just like the Ada was by the Raglan, they were adults. Aval Nashim, Avad and Miktanim in Mistarfim are not included in a minion. Siv Gimel. In his school, Ivan Eved Ivri? That's right, Ivan Eved Ivri. The story in Gemara where someone freed his slave, Ivan Eved Kanaini. Eved Ivri is Chayiv in Mitzvah. Chayiv, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Eved Kanaini is not. Eved Kanaini is only Chayiv in Mitzvah like a woman. The story in the Gemara, one of the Chachamim um, freed his Eved in order to be able to have a meal. Because he didn't have a meal. In his Cholay Mer Kaddish a Kedusha Basara, what happens if one started saying Kaddish a Kedusha? You had 10 people, but in the middle, people left. Vyatsu Miktsasam. Vyatsu Miktsasam. Goyimir no Yisrael Kaddish, Yisrael Kedusha Hischol. You're allowed mm-hmm. to complete the Kaddish and Kedusha without a minion. As long as you still have majority six. of the minion, you have six people still in the room. For those people that leave, it's an Avera. Those that forsake Hashem and leave Him, Yichlu should, should disappear. However, if there's still ten people left in the room, so they still have a full minion, and you're allowed to leave. This is the reason they said if they have six, the daven, we can daven, Shmonaiser. From here we learn. No, you're gonna. We'll see soon. But yeah, that is the concept. The concept, the concept is you have rave minion. Yeah, if you have six, yeah. If you have rave, you could. You you have to have ten, but you have to have rave that can answer. Before Davin already, the six is not Davin, they can continue the whole Davin. Over here we're talking about, we started saying Nagdishach, and suddenly you turn around. Nobody here. And no, uh, somebody, uh, four uh, people left the room. You can complete it. You continue. He clarifies in Sivdalit. Not only if the six were there when you started Kedusha itself. Even if one started the bracha of Magin Avram, the bracha is obvious. It'll kei Avram, it'll keep it like out loud. The yatsu mekzasan goyim rafi the kedusha, the chol tefilas yitches, the say the kedusha to balatzin, the kaddish shal achra, the kaddish after. It's a chutzpah. They see the ten people and they're leaving. So this means you can even finish Shmanesi, Chazar Hashat. You started off with 10 people. As soon as you started Shmanesi, people popped out. Two after the Valetzin and Kaddish, you could say. Meaning you're doing Chazar Hashat, right? Plus, plus Hashem Valetzin and Kaddish. Yeah, you continue to say the Kaddish till the Kaddish after Valetzin. It's good to know. Sunday morning when we have a minion here. Sometimes we don't have, sometimes. Some Why are you allowed to say all the way till after? All of this is considered the completion of Shmanesai. We say to Skabot's Lysen is a Tfila that we're saying in Kaddish that the Yidden's davening should be accepted. The Skabal Tzloysen of Usen, the Chobi Yisrael, the davening and the requests of Klai Yisrael should be accepted before their Father in Heaven. The Kaddish Skabal is the finishing off of Shmanesrei. So if you start off Shmanesrei, Chazar HaShashat, 10 people, even if they left, at some point, you can continue all of this without a minion in the room. Again, as long as we have at least 10 people still there. Till the Kaddish after, including the Kaddish after a Balutzian. So it's a lot of davening, you could say, without a minion in the room. The day of it. Huh? However, by the way, Rabbi Sai. This does not refer to Berchas Koyanim. Berchas Koyanim Mishmanasre, you cannot say in such a case. Mm-hmm. 
Because Birchus Koyin is really a mitzvah for itself. Shas Chachamim put it into davening. So therefore, if you didn't have 10 in the beginning of Shemones, it's not going to help you. The Chazan has to skip Birchus Koyin in such a case. How about Monday, Thursday, one day of Sefer Torah? No, you can't read. You can't? No. No. No, no. We're going to say one minute, the next line we're going to say that. However, if you already took the Torah out, then be. Yeah. Um, now, it's a day of gathering, Mondays and Thursdays. If before they started reading Kriyas HaToyda, people left the room, you cannot read Kriyas HaToyda. Kriya is not part of the evening. That by Mincha, a Mincha Shabbos or on a ta- a time is, we read before Shemun mm-hmm. because over there it's not a Hesik. And a regular day it's a Hesik to read because you have Berches Kriya Shema, you're supposed to do Gal Yisrael, Smichas Kulu Tfila. But in a day when, it, when you don't have to Smichas Kulu Tfila by Mincha, so you take a read before Shemun Esrei. So Torah is not connected to the davening. If, if a number of people left after you started Yoytze Oyer Vayri Choyshech, it's not going to help you for Chazar Sashatz, because there's no connection between the two. There was Kaddish of Baruch Hu before Yoytze Oyer, and then the Shemonesri later. So the fact that you had a minion by Yoytze Oyer Vayri Choyshech, Birchus Kishma, is not going to help you for Shemonesri. So to my Mayr, Mayr, there is no Chazar Sashat. You should not say the Kaddish after Shmanasre, Mayr, unless he had 10 in the beginning of Shmanasre. Will I die? Which a lot of times it's an issue because people are already starting to leave the Shul. Even after Shmona Esra, the 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 the, the leader start walking outside for how 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 you know they'll be half out at the door. Some people will answer. Some people will not answer. It's sometimes an issue. Correct. So the answer is that you're allowed to say that kaddish. So here in shul. If someone, if it's a minyan mitzumsum and someone left early, after Shmonesri he couldn't wait and he left, you can say the first Kaddish after Shmonesri. The Kaddish after Leinu you can't say. We'll explain why soon. But if they had, you had a minyan at the beginning of Shmonesri, even though now you don't have a minyan, you could say the Kaddish right after Shmonesri. The, the Kaddish of. Um, as well, the Kaddish before Shemun you could say, if you had people in the beginning of Mayrif, the starting of Mayrif, you had 10 people, and some people left, you could say the Kaddish before Shemun the Chatzli Kaddish, Hashkiveinu. Basically, in every part, if at the beginning you had the Minyan, you could complete that part with his Kaddish without a Minyan. The Kaddish al Acher Aleinu. What about the Kaddish after Aleinu? Bein Meshachris, Bein Mincha. Loi Yoimar. You cannot say, unless you had 10, when you're saying Kaddish. Even if you had 10 when you were actually saying Aleinu itself, but by the ending of Aleinu they were no longer here, 
It won't help for that this Kaddish. It's only a minig. Oh, it's a minimum. So, after you learn, if you don't have people when you're saying the Kaddish, it doesn't matter if when you were learning you had people, 10 people. It's different Kaddish. You don't say Eshel uh, Amar I mean, you say uh, Al Israel and Al Rabbanan. Does it make difference? You have to have ten people. I still have ten. Okay. I think it's stronger Al Israel and Al Rabbanan than only Eshel Amar Rabbanan. Talk to the other story. The guy came from United States to Israel, and the flight was delayed. By the time I went in Israel, it was like twelve o'clock at night. Where are you going to find a Meir? So you know, in Yerushalayim, these uh, places, late Meir or whatever, took mm-hmm. a spe- uh, taxi special together. Come down, no minion. What you do? All, every time you have a minion, you're going crazy. So he had an idea. He called the taxi company and said, Send me text, te- 10 taxi driver. And he took told the him, Told him to put on the meter and to come inside. I pay for it, the meter. Wow. Kids uh, came for, for a taxi. So that's all they have in the so it's station. Like 1 o'clock at night, 2 o'clock at night. Call another company. So to, you got 10 people, 9 people. They said to them, people sit down, open the sitter for them. Love my hey, the meter is working. Then he said, How much I have to pay? You know, tell me. The old dog says, No, we want the mitzvah, we don't want to take money. Wow. <laughs> That's real so, story? Yeah. So you see, when a person wants to dive into a minion, they wow. just make. I never heard such a story. Wow. Okay. You so were there? As a minion. No, no, I just today, punk today, I hear the story and we're uh. learning about that. You know, how important is to dive into a minion with wow. 10 people? Wow. Wow. Very nice story. Top of page Kuf Tzadik Vav. Further on this concept, Hu Adin, Mhoyu Asara, Vamidas Psuki de Zimra, Vamidas Ashe, Shefetios, Itres, Piakra Yatsum Xos and Koyim Shisra Kadish, the Yaskilan Epochas Mesar. Well, Maisa, the same thing as well. If you have ten people by Psuki de Zimra, it's not going to help you for the Kaddish after Pesach Zimra, between Yishtabach and Baruch Hu. Because you can't say Baruch Hu without, without, um, without a minion. And since you can't say Baruch Hu, even though the Kaddish technically you could say because you had a minion at Pesach Zimra, then now you don't have a minion. But since you can't say Baruch Hu without a minion, and, you, and Kaddish has to be said next to Baruch Hu, so you can't say the Kaddish. As well, by uh, the Kaddish before Mincha. Just because you had ten people by Ashrei, and some people left, doesn't allow you to say the Kaddish after Ashrei. She'af she'kaddish zem wa ta'kana s'chom is t'idur ha'tfilo. L'chol, this is not a minig, this is ma'amish wa ta'kana s'chom, and it's part of the Seder of Davini. So why can I say it? M'kol ma'kim sh'le yuchol le'me Baruch Hu. Since without ten people present, one cannot say Baruch Hu or Shemar Esrei after Kaddish, the way Chacham set up the evening, Ein Kaddish This Kaddish is not a ch- ch- obligation anymore. It loses the status of being a chiyu of this Kaddish. Shetakonas Chacham Hoisa Loi Mer Kaddish Baruch Hu Smuchin Zelazeh the Kachon HaKam was to say Kaddish and Baruch Hu one next to the other. Umitamza also lahafse b'neim b'shum ingin, kishin izbar b'simin nun dalit. That's why you're not allowed to make any hefse. We spoke last week. You're not allowed to make any hefse between Kaddish and Baruch Hu. V'chem emincha, takanasam hoisa loymer Kaddish of nei tefilas yitches. Mincha also, the Kachon HaKam was, you should say a Kaddish before Shemun Esrei. But if we're here, you're not going to have a minion by Shemun Esrei, so you can't say the Kaddish either. Even though you had by Ashrei a minion. You don't start Shemun Esrei with ever a Kaddish before it. Out a Kaddish before it. Besides for Shachris. Shachris is the only Mosef and Neila and Mincha and Mayri, we always have a Kaddish before Shemun Esrei. The only time we don't is by Shachris, that's because of Smichas Ula Tfila from Gal you saw you want to go straight into Dabnik. 
سيف هاي ودي ننسى لاست ويك وو بي دو بيت موسم في حوالي و هاو بي سين كارج بيتاوت بيتاوت سوكين يو سيل افري كارج افت اف فيو بسوكين بيفور يا اي دي نات هاد تشانس تو اسك اف ما هوس ستيل ان ماي مايك يا بابا ولا دينيز يا يا It's a simon and dalad sif dalad. The last sif in simon and dalad. The middle of the sif. Um, yeah, now we're going to go on to who can we consider to be part of a minion. Sif hey. Yesh matinin loyver dao shakdusha batats the seed of ever the ishe cotton. Yesha. Some people are mad there to say meaning Kaddish, Baruch Hu, or Kedusha with nine people and the tenth person could be a, a Eved or a woman or a child. How about a convert? Bnei Bris means the covenant, not the joke, yeah? First time is Isha. <laughs> would, would, for a tenth person, would, would a convert be acceptable? Sure, 100%. Not even for the ten, for the first. Okay. Now, Lamaisa, there's a machlekes over here, what we're going to see. There is a machlekes whether, when a min, we make a minion, do we need ten, do we need dafke that... Ten, ten men. Ten men. And less than that, the Shekhinah is not Shaira. Or if we say, no, <coughs> anyone who is considered a Jew, it could be a woman, it could be an Isha, even an Eved, Eved is also Chayv, but it's like an Isha. Anyone who is a Bnei Bris, part of the covenant, the Shekhinah is Shaira, and they could say Kedusha. However, why do we say only nine? In, in, only if there's one, if it's one, one person, but not if it's more than one person. Mm-hmm. It's not kavod shemayim to say a less than um, nine people that are chayiv in mitzvahs. Nine. The reason for number nine. Nine seems like ten. Nine is, is is like ten. It's just it's only one difference. So, and people don't see right away whether it's nine or ten. As long as the cotton, the child, is more than six years old and knows to who he is davening, even though he's smart, child, he's less than six, we're not able to count him. That's one opinion. The one at first opinion is that any, the tenth person you can be make with. However, some say that no, need to be ten. Men, free men, adults. You can't say anything of a davar shivagdusha. Without ten men. in the safra. Even if the cotton is holding a sefer in his hands, you can't include him. And the Megin, the Vechein Iker, and that's the Iker opinion like the second opinion. Afa Pikein, still in all, even though the Iker is like the second opinion, in Limchis Ba'is is Shanoig and Lahakal Bashas Tchak, the Tsarfei de Chumash Biyadav, Afiloi Beloi Chumash. Kim Shayesh Lahem Amishi Yisbuch. Komak and the Yomel Baruch of Kadush Shechiev, Ali Kadash Achalena Shayna Lamedik. Um, 
so, lo, so even though the Iker Halach is like the second opinion, if you do see a minion using a cotton to be mitzarev to a minion, whether he's holding a chumash in his hands, whether even without a chumash, you don't need to protest on what they're doing because they have opinions who to rely upon. But why are you saying the cotton is to hold only think shara chiyuv. I don't understand why the cotton is to hold chumash or sefer Torah. If he be mitzare, if he knows who he's davening for, why they have to bring his holding the chumash in the sefer Torah? It's a good question. The halacha, it's not, it's not important because we say even without it. Right. But I don't know why we're bringing it in. The mice is such a thing, to do such a thing is, is like a, 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 a big shas at chak. You know, in a regular case, one should not be doing uh, such a thing. The Mitzahar for cotton to the meal. I was reading the, the, in the Holy Seal in the river, in the river. In East Daven upstairs, the whole Daven, not, not just for Kiasa Tev. Where Yom the Rebbe came upstairs, it was exactly 10 people. The Chazan about to start the Rebbe said, No, I need 10. Everybody come, 10. The Chazan about to start the Rebbe said, Again, I need 10. Then the studio is very big. One of them were good? They went downstairs and find somebody, they bought him in, the Rebbe said, By the way, start Daven. Then they find out one of the boyfriend that's sitting over there, he came from a different city to Hanukh Lono, to Lon. It was a girl that became an Eid, but he didn't finish completely yet. To uh, be a, the to Rebbe be already a saw it. Wow. And, wow. and the Rebbe saw it, and the Rebbe didn't want to He didn't finish his conversion. Wow. And uh, it was to study everything, but. Uh, the power of to know ten people is supposed to be ten. Kedusha. Yeah, but this is not. No, not that book, uh, later on, he left Hanukkah now, and he didn't want to be here. Continue being a guy. Mm. Wow. Was he salty? No, no. Just you know, he was learning. You want to? I guess it was too hard for him, and he stopped. And he got out. out. The Rebbe saw it. <laughs> wow. There was one time Neba Chabacher who. Uh, he uh, a Jewish guy, but he he never had something in his head about Yoshka. Anyways, he he came to learn in, in 770 or in Crown Heights, and but he always was harboring these feelings that he had towards Yoshka, and he was upset that people uh, people around didn't too, have too much respect for Yoshka. It was a big issue for him. So he was a Yiddish and a Shama, but he uh, somehow landed over there. And he wrote a letter to the Rebbe that I want to leave. He wrote a letter in English that I want to leave the community and um, I'm, I'm disappointed at how they relate to Yashka and everything. And uh, I want to I want to leave. So I'm planning on leaving. And this is maybe um, before Purim. Rebbe wrote to him that I want you to give it a try. I want you to stay longer. As soon as going to be, I want you to stay stick stick around because soon as going to be my Yemaledas. and I want to invite you to come to the Fabrengen that's going to wow. be in seven seventy. I want you to come, and once you're here, he wrote the letter. It's in his handwriting. I want you to also stay. Already Pesach, so you should be here Pesach also. Once you're Pesach, stay Shavuos, and then stay for some Chastayra. You should say three Regalim, and stay here, and then uh, then you'll think it over again, the decision. <laughs> you probably he left, but uh, eventually, I don't know if he left right away, but he didn't. He tried to get him to stay more, and... No. Uh, <laughs> but you can imagine that the Rebbe's Abbas Yisrael, for such a guy that... You know, this is what's going through his head, you know. Maybe others would say, you know, Zai Gazunt. But the Rebbe didn't help, wanted to hold on to this Neshama. Wow. And he, he, you know, and he, and he told him to come to stay for my Yimaledis, and to stay, stay here, and to be by my Fabrengen, and to come. And, 
He didn't want him to go away. You see, I was thinking when the Rebbe told him to stay for the Muleder to bring him, the Rebbe would get up and say, you know, Yoshke was a Jew, but then he has a problem. To give a uh, switch. <laughs> yeah. Sivav. Imlay Havi Beisitis. Hopefully, ultimately, he came back to Judaism. Well, there is a story. Um, I don't know myself. I don't verify, but there's, there's been people. There's a, there's a video. There was a video like not long ago, a few years ago. There was a guy who came to Odalers by the Rebbe. And he was a Jew that uh, Nabach was for the Jews for J. And he came to the Rebbe. And he said to the Rebbe how, uh, how really you know how people should uh, believe in the, in, in, the, in Jay and yeah, yeah. Yashka, to <laughs> and he gave the Rebbe a book, yes, some type of book with this style, type of uh, kfira and you know Avedazara, and he gave a book. So the Rebbe told him very very clear. He didn't there you heard the Rebbe gave it clear yeah, without missing yeah. any words. Yes, yeah, so I remember that one. Yeah, yeah, the Rebbe told him Ill. that uh, that you're you're ill and you need help. And so the person said he's not ill. So the Rebbe said that's all well, the more so shows how ill you are. If you don't realize that you're ill, so you're if really you don't know your own sickness, that's the, that's the worst problem that could be. That you don't realize you're ill. But you're a Jew, he told him, and, yeah. uh, and, and you're a Jew, but you're ill and you need to be healed. And the Rebbe took the book yes. and he like threw it down like, like behind him. Yeah. And he said, and he told yeah. him, he was walking away, the Rebbe called him back and told him I wanted, the reason why I took the book was not because I'm going to be reading it, because I want one less book you should be able to distribute. Yes. <laughs> now, a few years ago, they, they, say, came, they brought up some video of a guy in Yerushalayim, and basically this guy with a beard and everything, and basically he, they, he says that he's the guy who was there, and he, he wow. came back to Yerushkite, and oh, he, wow. he's somewhere in Yerushalayim, somewhere, he's happening, I don't know what he's doing, but uh, he was this guy. Wow. Because, uh, when I was by Mendes on 34th Street, we had J to J office there. They used to order for me plata with meat because they had some Israeli, Jewish Israelis. They wanted to bring oh, you blood no. kosher. So I asked a rabbi if I'm allowed to sell it to them. He said, it's a business. You're not the owner. The, the call, the order, send the plata of 15 sandwiches to this address you are. But I know the address. I know it's J to J. Wow, crazy. So they used to stop Israelis, speak to them Hebrew, and say, listen, it's a glass kosher. Look at this. Right, right. I remember a few times I did it, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Sivav. Im lohevi beisaitis, afilo god boshonam dine kekotan at shiyotsu reiv shnaisav. Im lavim of shonam. Being considered a gadol is not just an age number, it's not a magical number. It's about a maturity, physical maturity of, of growing of the two hairs, the sign of the maturity. So even if the, if the person is older than 13, but doesn't have Bay Cyrus, it's can treat it like a cotton halachically. Unless the person has reached the majority of the years of the life. The average person, David HaMelech says, Shivim Shana, live 70 years. In Begvures, Shmainim Shana, 80 years. Shivim Shana, split into half is 35. After someone is 35 years old, they automatically have surpassed majority of the average life. At that point, even if someone does not have that maturity level, the physical, did not grow the physical maturity of the base iris, they become a goddle. Sha'az is Bayer Shusaris, but the Yavi Saidis Loyalam. Then this person is the status of a Saris. He will never grow the two hairs. Since he will never grow the two if already majority of the person's life went by, we assume majority of the life went by that they're not gonna grow it. So it's not we're not waiting for another stage when it will grow. So before 35, you could say, okay, didn't come now, maybe we'll come at a later stage. And then the person will have that level of maturity. This concept of 35 or 70 years old. I think so. I think it applies across the board. Mm -hmm. I don't remember any anywhere. It's brought up a number of times. It never says there's a chiluk, so I'm, I'm assuming it applies to both. 
However, if there are certain signs that this individual has a status of a Saris and is not going to grow the two Cyrus even before he's 35, then already when he's 20, we say he's considered a Gadol. This is for the purposes of a Minyan and other in Yanam, we need a Gadol in Torah, you need someone who's a Gadol. These are the, the halachic uh, definitions. And we don't need to go and check. If someone's 13 years old, we assume that, the, that it grew. We don't need to check. The reason being for that is, since the person that most people have the Tusayrus, we assume mm-hmm. he has it. This only works for something which is mid Rabbanan. Something which is min Hatoira, you need to know that the child, that the person who's 13 physically has the base situs. For example, blowing Shafer. Blowing Shafer on the first day Yamtif to Mimoitzi other people. So the person has to know if he's a god or not. What happens if we start at the Davin Shmanesri? You have one person davening by himself. He cannot answer to the minyan. After he came and started with imam, he's allowed to be considered part of the minyan. This is only by the not, not in regards to Chazar Sashats. Explain in a minute, it's only regarding to Kaddish Baruch and Vidusha. in the Bays, a Gimel Adal, even if two, three, or four people cannot answer because they're middle Shmanasri. Is still mitzdarf to the mean called shenisha haroi shayin amen. He's laughing because he have the majority to answer can answer amen. In anius hamiut meakevus, the the answering of the minority is not refrain you from saying these dvarim shabakedusha. Shein amius dava shedusha biyud talib ben yasan actually yusham shabakedash yisay ben yisol a kol asar shem ben kedusha. The concept of being able to say a Davosh HaKadusha doesn't have to do whether they can answer the Davosh HaKadusha. It has to do with physically in the room, there are ten people that could say a Davosh HaKadusha. Ki goin Kaddish, o Baruch Hu, e'afilu Kadusha. Im ha-shriach tzibar lo yispal ha-dayin b'lach ha-sha'atzmei. Even Kadusha, the shriach tzibar, did not daven yet quietly by himself. When the Shriach Tzibar says Chazar Sashat, then you do need to have nine people physically yes. hearing. So it's a very important chiluk, Abba Yisai, to know. When you're saying a Kaddish or Baruch Hu, you don't need to ensure that ten people are able to answer. You need to ensure that six people can respond. And you have ten people in the room. So even if four of the people cannot respond because they're in parts of davening where they cannot answer, let's say Mel Shemesi, but as long as they're in the room, the six people, which is Roy of the Minyan, can say Kedush, can say Barucho, and say a Kaddish.
If by Chazaras, by Chazaras Hashatz is different because you need nine people to hear a Chazaras Hashatz. To answer. To answer, be able to answer the Chazaras Hashatz. If you don't have, what you should do is, you should send up someone to the Amid who has not yet said the quiet Shmanesri. So when he's going up, he's like he's davening his private Shmanesri, the Rabbi. That's what you should do in the case you don't have nine. Now what about someone who's sleeping? Someone is in the room, but he's someone is sleeping on the side. His head is on the table, he's sleeping. Can he count for the minion? Again, this is for Kaddish and Baruch Hu, but regarding Shmanesa, you need someone to answer, nine people to answer Chazar HaShatz. You can start Shmanesa with this individual sleeping. When it comes to Chazar HaShatz, you need to wake up. Sivches. Ye Shemim Shehua Dinin Echad Miyud Yoshan. It's Tarev HaShtav HaShem Kedoshe. Some say the same halacha applies to if one of the ten people are sleeping. That he's still considered part of the me. And after Shehina Oyni Moim. Hava Yoisim Echad Yin Kovet Shemayim Masarev Him Mishenim. More than one. It's not a Kovet Shemayim to include. If there are two, it's already, it's a pusha. Not more than one. Mm-hmm. Some say you cannot compare someone who's sleeping in the room to someone who's davening a shmanesu and can't respond. They both can't respond to the kedusha, to the to the baruch or to the kaddish. How is the difference between someone who's sleeping and someone who's, who's davening? Someone who's sleeping, his neshama goes back to Lamaila. Not only that he doesn't have the special kedusha, but it's actually a possibility that he gets a ruach hatum on him. And by the way, that's the reason why when we sleep during the day, if someone takes a nap, they're supposed to wash their hands and they wake up, but they're not with a bracha. Because it's not clear that there's a ruach hatum on someone who sleeps during the day. So we wash, but we don't wash with a bracha. He takes a glass of water in the middle of the night. He takes what? A glass of water in the middle of the night. In the middle of the night? He takes a glass of water, he's in the shackle and barn refreshes too, so he just... Saying, should he wash his... Should he wash his hands? Yeah, Chori should wash his hands, yeah. And they go to shackle and barn refreshes? Yeah. Uh, uh, Going back to this question, should he make it... Should he wash his hands with a bracha or without? By night. By night. Many gives we don't do with a bracha. We never make a bracha. Okay. We but do the bracha in the morning. Morning. Okay. But if you go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, we do it when you wake. We do it when you wake up. So when you nice. wake up, that you woke up. Yeah. Uh, when the, whenever you wake up in the morning. And now you're staying up, then you wash your hands. Okay. But if you're going back to sleep, you don't make a bracha. Yeah, but if you go to bed in the middle of the night, you have to do a shi'at and go to sleep, right? right yeah. But not under the tila to die. Under the tila to die, don't make a bracha. If you wash your hands after I the bathroom. You get up to o'clock in the morning to go to the bathroom. So you don't need to wash your hands, then you go to the bathroom. You wash your hands until the tila to die. Oh, before? Yeah. Yeah, you wake up, you wash your head. Then you go to the bathroom. Yeah. yeah, you do. You wash your head. Yeah. Okay. But you don't say al okay. Okay. Now what ha- what's the halacha? We have your machlik, is about a yoshan. What's the halacha? Do we count a yoshan to be part of the minion? Or we say that no, he's sleeping, his hasham is not here. Maybe there's even a ruach atumah here. Linya maisa. The Alta Rebbe says, don't get yourself involved in this machlekes. Just wake him up. It's possible to wake him up. So wake dying. him up. Yeah. So he doesn't give up sack. Since it's possible to wake him up, he should wake him up. Start the other chain. So a yashan is not clear to machlekes, but someone who's davening Shemana Esrei, he's up, but he's davening. 
he's not answering, stuff. he's Mitzayev to the Mingin. Even though you don't have ten people answering, as long as you have six people answering. When it comes to Kaddish and Baruch That's how we look when we say Baruch Do we say, do we have six people who can answer? By the way, um, the Olam waits by Yishtabach for six people. They say they wait for six people. The reality, you don't need six people to wait for... for Just to make sure you have for Shimon Esri. The main thing is we do it because we, we need to make, when the time Shimon Esri comes, we need to have six people. Otherwise, you didn't, you're not diving with a minion. minion. And then you open to say Chazal Sashat. But for the Baruch Hu itself, as long as they can answer Baruch Hu, they could say Amin to the Kali, they can answer Baruch Hu. But the meaning is to wait by, by Yishtabach because we're well, anyway, very close to Shemun so If he didn't catch up here, he's not going to be by Shemun Esri either. So that's why. He was a Mashpiach of Hamshol Brook. So when he got old, he used to work up middle night to go to the bathroom. So he woke up already, he went to the living room, opened a book and started learning. His Levinson said to him, you wake up middle of the night, go back to sleep. He said, you know what took the Neshama to come to my body? She went down so long, to the and now I just uh, send her to go back. He's an old man, you know, it happened, an old man, I need to go to the bathroom middle of the night. I think there was a minute by, by, by Zikne Hasidim that they, they had, that this wasn't just by Shobrok, there was a, I heard from others that there was such a thing that they woke up and the Shama should come down should say a, a, a bracha and should do something, but not just. Uh... I sit alone. Okay, siftas. Kishe echam is fal levade, ava pishiyesh asara fil ode, nochem shiemtinu, eloimer kadesh at she yigmer kishi yiska gamhu. Kishe someone's davening, even though you have 10 people without him, it's better to wait for him so he can also answer and zoicha to be answer amen. However, if he's davening at length, it's You don't need to wait for him to answer. Someone is sleeping when the tzibur arrives at a davar shabagdusha, kadesh baruchu or kedusha. should wait to wake him up is not talking about someone who we need him for the minyan. You don't need him for the minyan, but you want him to zakah him, he should be able to hear. If he doesn't want to wake up in Tzarek you don't have to wait. Just give him the opportunity to let him know that that's what you're holding to wake him up, and then uh, if he doesn't doesn't get up, he doesn't get up. You don't have to wait. By our plan, we give you to cover the eyes, and for the phone people, it says, I dive in already. You know, they put it up. <laughs> <laughs> don't wake me up. have it? Did you have that? Hello? Wow. Yeah. Don't wake me up. Okay, let's learn another sif. Chedesh ha-medaber ve'in ishimeya. Or ishimeya ve'in ishimeya. He'in kepik chim on stavim ho'o davar shabakdusha. The Allah is a concept in all over Chazal of a cheresh. Cheresh is someone who there are different levels of a cherish. There's a cherish who's mute, a cherish who's deaf, and a cherish who's deaf mute. And there's different halachas. The halach is like this: a cherish that has one, only one, fun, has one function, is missing the other function. Achmad al is either deaf or mute alone. They are they, they are considered like pikchim, like a pikeach, as a as a normal person. And they can be included as part of a Dara Shabakdusha. However, they can't answer because if they don't hear, so they don't know when to answer, and if they don't speak, they, they can't answer. So they can't be they can be included for Kaddish and Baruch as being part of the the four, but they can't be part of the Raiv meaning you know, the six that actually have to answer. I I I have a question. If they're able to speak and they have the ability to hear through using their hearing aids, are they permitted to answer? I think so. I think with hearing aids they're considered. If you're able to hear with hearing aids. Even though they can't respond, even if there are two or more of them in the room, as long as the majority of them are have only one dysfunction, so they're considered a pikeach, 
she, uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry, as long as the majority of the minion is regular people, which can answer Amin, Ein Aniyah Samit Ma'kev is the fact that uh, a minority of the minion cannot respond, is not Ma'akev, Kol Shem Bein Mitzvah V'Ashchina Shayra Aleim. As long as they're Chayi V'Mitzvahs, the Shechina Shayra on them. Hal Shem HaShayich Tzibar Spala Krabalaycha Shal Yach Sarei Tfilah Shemis. However, if the Shema, the, the, the Chazan, Davin the Ready, the Quiet Shem Nesri, he can't say Chazar Sashat a second time. Elam Kiyish Tes Hashem Reinam, unless he has nine people answering Amin. Chazar Sashat, like we said before, is different. Chazar Sashat is the only time where we require nine people to actually hear the brachas, because everyone Davin Shem Nesri already. Otherwise, it's it's kind of to be a brachal vatala. So therefore, you need to have nine people responding. All other aspects in Torah don't need nine responding, they need at least majority responding. Six. Majority is considered like the whole and Rubei Kakule. So when it comes to Mayriv, it comes to Kedusha, it's fine. But Chazar Sashat is a problem because they can't respond. If they can't respond, Ishkoyach that you're considered Pikeach and you're considered part of the Mingin, mm-hmm. but you can't respond technically, so you're not <coughs> part of the Mingin. You can't help for Chazar Sashat. A person who has a both dysfunctions. They're deaf and mute. Deaf mute. Hareyu Kashoita is not considered like a regular person. It has a status of a shaita. The cotton, like a cotton, like a child. And therefore cannot be considered part of the Mingin. This is the Khadesh, the deaf mute that the Chazal always talked about. When the Chazal always say, Cheresh, Shoyit, and Vakotan are part of all the mitzvahs. They always bunch them together. Cheresh, Shoyit, and Vakotan. They're part of from mitzvahs in the Torah. The Cheresh that we're referring to here is a deaf mute. But one who has one of the functions is not considered like a Shoyit or a Kotan. Has a status of a Pikeach and is Chayiv and mitzvahs. Shail that came up is that already for already going back 150 years, there have been schools to train even even deaf mute people to be able to speak. So, if they're able to speak, are they considered? Do they have? Their, there's a status change if they're trained by a special school, train them to speak. So, Lamaisa, before we talk about changing them to speak, the Gemara itself discusses what's the din of someone who was born as a deaf mute as a cherish. However. Later on in life, was started to be able to speak again. Was able to speak. The, the, the speaking function came. So it's called Cheresh Hischel Adaber. It's a Machleikis Tanoim, and the halacha is like the Shita which holds that they are considered like a Pikeach now that they could talk. Pikeach Chol Daber. Discussion already starting like 150 years ago became a discussion. What about? individuals that didn't naturally, naturally can speak. They went to special school that trained them to speak. So there's a big discussion if training someone to speak, is that considered like naturally speaking? Lamaisa were Mako with the Shaila, and even someone who's trained to speak, if he's able to fully speak, they do have the status of a Chere Shehischeladaber, and can be considered like a pikeach um, and, and on all functions. However, what happens if the cherish is trained to speak but cannot speak fully? And this is what happens very often, where they're able to speak and it's not clear. And people are only able to understand part of what they're saying. So I was involved in such a shaila. I had a, a brother-in-law had a yeshiva and he had such a situation. And this person who was a very Ehrlich person, he was a, naturally was a real cheresh, he was deaf-mute, he was a brilliant guy. He was deaf-mute. And he went to a special yeshiva where you learn and they, and they, and they also trained him. So he learned Torah and they also trained him, he also learned how to speak. However, even though my brother-in-law knew this individual for over a year, he was only able to understand 20% of what he spoke. Even though he was very comfortable with him and knew him well, but his speech was not clear. 
So he would only understand 20%. And in order for him to function, he would, be able, he would, he would type on his phone, show people on his phone or use sign language. And that's how he would be able to write and to do sign language and, and the phones. And that's how he got the message across. So when so he became the Shaila, he doesn't fully f- speak. What do you, how do you consider? The Shaila went up to Rav David Feinstein, uh, and Moshe Feinstein's son, in the Lower East Side. And Rav David said that in the beginning, the way the person who had brought the Shaila to him had described him as able to speak. So Moshe, so David said, if he's able to speak, then he's a- able to speak. He's considered a okay. pikeh. And well, Maisa, later on he was clarified that he's not able to fully speak. He's 20% of what he says we can understand. We don't understand the other 80% of what he's saying. It's not clear. So I would say you have to treat it like a suffix, and you can't. You have to be machmer. You can't. You can't give him the status of bikeh. So you give him a uh, Later on, I found such a thing in a Moshe Feinstein's Shuva itself that he published in the later, or published after he was nifter already. There was, a, there was another chelik that was published of his chuvas. and there mentions a case which sounds very similar to this case. Where Moshe also held that you can't consider the person a bikeach if they can't fully speak. It's a sensitive subject, and uh, this person is a, is a very brilliant, uh, very smart person. Well, I say, halacha, that's the, that you have to be machmer. It's not so negeah for most shilas. It's just uh, it's negeah for tzir for a minion. You don't need to he- answer to respond. Blow shay for Rosh Hashanah. Using him on a star, maybe. But you don't have to use him for the star. So it's not like he, 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 could, should, he could do whatever mitzvahs he could do. You know, it's not. Uh... Where are we going? Right, so that's what he's saying. Correct. But if he's, if he's considered a shaita, then even a shaita could also blow. Let's say he could blow. What or cotton could blow, but they're a cotton. They're not a bar chiyuva. You have to hear the shoifer, do the mitzvah, hear the mitzvah from someone who's chayiv. So in the the cotton could blow beautifully, maybe. Maybe better than the adult. But the cotton is not chayiv a mitzvah, so you can't patter someone who's. You have to the same level of obligation. Same Somebody level that obligation. was speaking in the near everything, but became sick, and he can't speak and can't hear anymore. Never. Give himself the media? That that's different. There he's born. Like a, he was speaking he here, everything, like everything. Yeah, right. But, uh, he, he became That's like different. A, Many people, there's, there's people that get older and they never can hear anything. Uh, you know, they become deaf later on or something. It doesn't mean that... Uh, so, so he's mitzvah to me. I don't see why not. This has to do with whether it's, it's functions in the nefesh. Right. A certain level, some things which are, are, are missing. Mm-hmm. Today it's hard to, uh, to come, because of the schools that there are... The, uh, there was that girl, the, the, what's her the, name? The, Helena. The speech. Huh? Keller. Helena Keller. And because of that time, they, they changed the people. It was, it's hard to understand sometimes the positions of Chazal. But that's the nice, the even even some, if someone's a deaf mute, they're, considered a, a, they're not considered a pikeach. So it's, it's not, it's not negeah for most things. I mean, even though you could, it's negeah, like let's say if you want to say a Kaddish or a Baruch Hu, but we, anyways, you wouldn't be able to say the Kaddish, the Yassim, without someone without who can it. answer fully. Right, so it's not, you know. What is the story with blind? No, blind is a, the Gemara has a Shita, and Yehud Hal is Summa's Potter for all the mitzvahs in the Torah, but we don't hold that way. All right, one time. We have a Locha, Summa's Chayim, and all mitzvahs. All right, one time. Summa can be a Chazim, we learned recently. I had a guest from Israel, he was blind, he came, he was sleeping by me, I brought him to the Bet Torah, mm-hmm. and he's a Chazim. Wow. So he went to Davin. I said, I cannot, I have to ask the Chazan. The Chazan has to ask the committee. He has all the books, you know, the the Braille. And he has like Rosh Hashanah, he has like five books. Wow. He Davin the Amircha, and they asked me, he can come Shachre too. He has beautiful <laughs> voice. Wow. Wow, amazing story. But yeah. he wouldn't be Chazan. He was a Chazan. Uh, he could. He's chayim, yeah, even yeah. if he's sure. Hello. Yeah. If, there are many summers, man. Even if he's yeah. blind, he's chayim. You just said that he's not. Okay. Deaf mute. Oh, oh, deaf mute. Deaf mute. Deaf mute has to do with intellectual functions. How are you doing? Someone doesn't speak, it doesn't hear. 
Helen missing, Keller. Missing okay. a lot of functions. Thank you later. Thank you for coming. I mean, you know, she went Jewish. Yeah. Square. So what do they say today? The intelligent level of... Uh, they can make... Someone definitely could have the same intelligent level? Today with the telephone, It might be a, mute, a mutation. You do everything. You can walk everything. Yeah. Or disease, you know. Well, doesn't yeah. mean that they're... Do well, you have yeah. offices that hire people like that? Yeah. It's an email, everything. What does that mean? Everything in the computer. Look, uh, what's his name? Uh, the Shliach from California.